soul family this is going to be a general love reading for fire signs okay so we've got in um earth signs and water signs we're going to do fire and next we're going to do air but i will be doing air not tomorrow probably the day after tomorrow because i have a lot of readings to do Whew. So, for those of you that know, before I get started, my best friend, Chrissy Small, um, lost everything in a house fire on Sunday the 13th, and she lost her home and all of her possessions. Um, she has a small son named Hunter, who's 10, and on my Facebook, I have been raising money for Chrissy to get back on her feet. Um, I'm not sure if she had home insurance, but even if she did... Um, they were in like a mobile park area and so it only covers the mobile park, um, that, you know, so that they are not liable, but it doesn't cover, you know, her possessions or any of that stuff. Usually from, from what I know, my experience when I lived in a mobile park area like that, they make you get home insurance to cover their butt. So if anything happens, they get their money back, but it doesn't um, pertain to, you know, you getting your possessions back. So there is a GoFundMe also on Facebook that someone else started and I am doing my part by, um, I have a donation link. So for those that have donated, I'm giving readings on a donation basis. So whether you donate a dollar, eight, eight hundred dollars, whatever, it doesn't matter. I will give you a reading. You know, you can donate 25 cents and that's a chance for you to get a reading with me. So, um, I had that going and so I've been super busy and swamped doing readings and scheduling readings. So for those of you that have already scheduled readings with me and or for those of you that didn't want readings with me, but still, you can still donate. You don't have to purchase. You don't uh, purchase. You don't have to schedule a reading with me. Um, I'm just offering the, the readings as like a fun little thing to, you know, um, that people can like an energy exchange for when they donate, but you don't have to get a reading from me. So if you want to donate without getting a reading from me, that's totally okay too. The link is, um, I'm putting the link in my description box. So if you go in my description box underneath my videos, underneath my prices, it'll be there. Okay. And, um, it's also linked on my Facebook page, which is, um, Nancy Marina Lopez Pickering. So if you don't follow me on Facebook, now you should. It's Nancy Marina Lopez Pickering. I also have my business page, Chakra Bunny um, Tarot on Facebook. So you can follow me on there. Nancy Marina Lopez Pickering is my um, personal Facebook um, page. And so you can follow me on there as well. And also on Instagram, you can also message me on Instagram and schedule your reading there or if you want to donate. Um, you can message me on there and also my email. If you just email me and I can email you the link back. Like we can set something up for your readings. Okay. So, and I'm scheduling readings. Um, I've already scheduled some of them. So for those of you that have donated that haven't heard back from me yet, I'm, I'm getting to you. I didn't forget. I promise. So I'm, I'm getting, I'm slowly but surely getting to everyone. And so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So I have my, uh, light Sears tarot. And I have my Heal Yourself deck. And I have my Lemurian Love deck that I created and um, which is available for purchase on my Etsy store, always in, linked in the description box below my videos. And I also have the Whispers of Love deck. So we're just going to go ahead and jump right in. All right. What do our beautiful fire signs need to know? Thank you for allowing me to use Twitter's channel for source messages. Thank you for being here with us. Please allow uh, the voices of the ancestors and the voices of our starseed family and the voices of our um, spirit guides and our angels to speak through me. I am an open channel and I am honored to be your voice. 
what do our beautiful fire signs need to know about their twin soul connection now as you know all of my readings are timeless so whenever you find this reading it's for you also if you have stumbled upon me then you are a twin soul or a twin flame do not doubt that because i am a twin soul reader i am a twin flame reader that is my life purpose that is my gift and that is what spirit has trained me has been training me for years to do without me even knowing <laughs> I started out just reading tarot and then it slowly progressed into me learning how to read energy to being able to tap into the energy field of twin souls around me. So it has been a slow and steady process. What do our beautiful fire signs need to know? So fire sign would be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I'm just going to pull cards at random until spirit tells me not to without trying to make it go too long. What do our fire signs need to know? Whoa, right off the bat, fire signs, we got the magician. You are master manifesting. I'm so proud of it. Six of wands, wow. Big, big energy already. Oh, we dropped a card. Hold on. Oh my goodness. I might need to pause it. I think it's under the bed. One second. Okay. Sorry about that fire signs. I lost a card and went underneath the bed, but I found it. So, <laughs> I'm out of breath now. All right, fire signs. So look at what we have here. We have the king of cups. Can you see that? I have my light on, which makes me very uncomfortable because it's all bright in my face. But <laughs> then you guys can see the cards better. All right, so we have the King of Cups. We have Six of Wands. One second. Oh, man, okay. We have the Magician. Six of Wands, King of Cups. I'm going to keep going, but oh, my gosh. Fire signs, your energy be off the chisane today. We got Ace of Cups. It came out in reverse. Okay, so right away, there's this energy of someone or something trying to manifest their perfect person, their perfect love. My hair is in my eyes. Um, and there is a divine masculine who is ready to make that public declaration of love. You know, my Six of Wands is always my public declaration of love card. Look, Six of Wands. It's coming forward saying, this is my person, you know, it's the whole stupid, I'm sorry, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so jaded, I'm sorry, I'm not, <laughs> the whole like <laughs> changing your Facebook status to from single to like in a relationship, <laughs> um, you know what I'm saying? It's it's publicly declaring like through engagement, um, re relationship change status. It's a divine masculine coming forward and claiming the divine feminine. The King of Cups is is the energy of like ready to ready to come forward with the emotions and to spill his heart, wear his heart on his sleeves to come forward with spilling the beans. Okay, that's what they're saying. We got the Ace of Cups, and like I said, it dropped on the ground, it flew out, and it hit the ground. But when I picked it up, I picked it up like this. So, excuse me. I don't usually read reversals, but it's strange because the King of Cups wants to come forward with love, and then we got Ace of Cups in reverse. And so, I don't like that energy. So, we're going to we're gonna pull some more cards and see what the hell is going on with that. The Ace of Cups is like coming with like... It's a new relationship, but it's also coming with like a full cup and, you know, ready to commit and, you know, um, open and receptive to love. But we have, you know, with it in reverse, it's like not being open to love. So I don't know if this is your energy or your person's energy, someone, because, okay, so the divine masculine is open because look, it, king of cups, that's the, the energy of being receptive, being open. So I, why do I have a feeling it's the Divine Feminine being closed off again? You know, I, when I just read for Water Signs, it was the same energy <clears throat> for the Divine Feminine there. It was like them not being open and ready and receptive for love, right? Four of Swords. <laughs> of course. 
<laughs> All right. So again, again, Divine Feminines, Divine Feminines, I love you all so much. And I am a Divine Feminine. So believe me when I say I'm here for it. I understand. Okay. We got Ace of Cups in reverse and we got Four of Swords. My goodness, you beautiful Divine Feminines. I get it. You have been through some shit. You have been through the ringer. You have experienced so much heartbreak not even just in the love department just period just heartbreak 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 right so much pain and suffering so many lessons right and I understand there's this extreme urge to sort of go within yourself um, to sort of close off to go back into your cocoon and say mm, my heart is safe here with me let me tell you something about going and doing that when your heart is when your heart is kept locked up by you then you also cannot receive anything else good in your life the heart is where all of our beautiful blessings come in. It's where our love comes in. It's where our abundance comes in. It's where all of the good things, right, that you are trying to manifest, um, that's where they, they all come in is through this heart space. So to close your heart off to love is to close your heart off to everything beautiful in your life so I'm gonna say this again my beautiful fire signs my beautiful divine feminines allow yourself to love take that heart that you are so wonderful at protecting okay I know I know I know you've had to protect your heart for such a long time I know you have but now it is safe for you to open up and allow that beautiful heart to receive love. Even if you give your love to someone and they do not return it back, my beautiful fire signs, that love is not wasted because you have proven you are strong enough and you are fearless enough to allow that love in. Now you cannot control whether that other person is going to love you back or to receive that love. But I guarantee you, with your heart opening and all of those beautiful things coming in, not just love is going to come in, but all of the blessings that you have been blocking yourself from because you have been in a state of fear and closure, closed off open, allow, flow. That is your message from spirit. Thank you, spirit. All right. We are going to get two more cards and then we are going to wrap the tarot section up. So what else do our fire signs need to know besides opening up? Please, spirit, Cards, please. Nine of Pentacles. See, cannot make it up. I am. I am good at my job. I'm not gonna toot my own horn, but two, two, two. I am. Okay. So, Nine of Pentacles. There it is. This is your wish fulfillment. This is all of the good things. There's the blessings. There's the peace. There's the love. There's the abundance. There's the happiness. There's the everything. The contentment and all of these you already have within yourself. All of you, except you are closed off. Your heart is locked in a box because you're afraid to let anyone in. And fire signs, it's time to stop that. It is time for you to love. I'm going to tell you right now, look at all these wonderful things that are trying to come into your life. And you're blocking them by doing this. You know, the universe is going, here's love. Here's this. And you're going, no, no. No, because you're afraid and you're holding your heart so tightly. But doing that is blocking everything else. Nothing can come in as long as you're in this state of fear. Okay? 
your pot is full. You just have to open your arms and accept it. Open your heart and accept it. All right, what's next? What is the last thing you want our beautiful fire signs to know? Thank you. This reading has already been incredibly beautiful. And remember that all of my readings are timeless, so my ears are ringing so loudly. The spirit guides are so heavy for you, fire signs. Yes. I am listening to all of you. Thank you for being here. You are so blessed, my beautiful fire signs. Look at that. They just showed up with the ringing of my ears. What is the last thing you want our beautiful fire signs to know, please? And I gotta get up because this is where the chair is hurting my butt. Last and final thing, Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. So this is um, beautiful fire sign energy. The Queen of Wands is all about seduction and feminine fire. Claiming what's yours. So for some of you, this divine masculine, okay, this is water sign energy. So Pisces, Cancer, um, Scorpio, your divine feminine is probably a fire sign. There's Queen of Wands. Um, we also have all the signs energy though here because this is, um, I think, Earth sign. Um So the divine feminine is standing in her power. She is moving forward with everything in her life. That wand is a symbol of her power. She's holding the light in her hand, okay? If you look at this card, she's literally holding the light in her hand. She's shining her light out into the world. And by doing so, she doesn't even realize that she is calling in her divine counterpart just by pursuing her passions, whatever that passion may be, whether it's, you know, spell casting, witchcraft, um, singing, writing poetry, um, financial planning, uh, being a librarian, whatever it is, yoga teacher, tarot reader, it doesn't matter, whatever it is that is causing her to follow her passion, her holding that light and shining it out into the world and doing what she loves is drawing in her divine counterpart. And the funny thing is with her not realizing that and just following what sets her heart on fire and her soul on fire, that's what makes a divine masculine go, wow, look at how brightly she shines. Look at that light. Look at that love. Look at that drive. Look at that passion. Look at that ass, right? I mean, let's be honest. The, the queen of wands is the most sensuous, seductive queen in the deck. She is the fire queen. She is all about sensuality, sexuality, and, you know, all of those things that scream a seductive and a seduction right from the divine feminine it's Kali Ma energy it's um Queen Isis you know it's that very seductive mystique sort of um kundalini type sexual energy which radiates out of you know the queen of wands wow own your shit own your shit fire signs once you do that and you're comfortable in your skin enough to own your shit, everything else is going to fall into place. One second. Okay, we're going to do the same order that we did for water signs. Um, whispers of love. What do our beautiful fire signs need to know? We got the whispers of love deck. I'm getting sleepy. You know, reading like this and reading the energy takes a lot of energy. I have put up my protective golden white light bubble, but still connecting to so much energy in the collective energy field can be exhausting. Even if you have your energy force up, your energy shield, because, you know, you're trying to protect yourself from dozens and dozens, um, hundreds, thousands even of people's energy fields. All right, what do we got for our beautiful fire signs? 
what does their whole spirit team want them to know about this twin flame connection? And like I said, I'm a twin soul reader. So if you found this reading, do not doubt that you are a twin soul. You are. Okay? You are. You were guided here for a reason. They, they freaking threw out two cards for you, fire sign. Get out of my house. I'm done. <laughs> God, we have true love and love is all around you. Okay, so number 30, it's so it's number three. This is a divine um, master number, okay? True love, this love is once in a lifetime. So if you had a person in mind and you're asking, is this my person? The answer is a fuck yeah. It's a huge fuck yeah. And if you're under 18, please click off now because I am definitely <laughs> have a potty mouth. You know, I'm a fire sign. I'm a fire sign. We like to kiss. <laughs> True love. This love is once in a lifetime. So if you had any doubt, stop doubting. This is your person. This love is once in a lifetime. Allow yourself to receive it. Don't show any fear because the time for fear is over. Now is the time to follow your dreams, fire sign. Claim it all because all of these beautiful blessings are lined up for you. And if you allow yourself to get in your head about it or to get fearful about it or say, I'm not ready or I'm not this or I'm not that and I'm not financially stable and I'm not this and I'm not that, you're going to block it all from coming to you. And like I said, once you allow yourself to love, everything else will fall into place. Love yourself first. Work on that. Then when you work on loving your person and allowing yourself to receive that it's going to bring in your peace, well, more of your peace because we know we're at peace, right? It's going to bring in your abundance. It's going to bring in all of your wish fulfillment. But the first step is loving yourself, allowing yourself to love and receive. Okay, in that order, focus on you. Then focus on allowing yourself to be loved. Right there. It literally, your spirit guides are saying to you, this love is once in a lifetime. Now, if this, if you are a fire moon sign, okay, if you are a fire rising sign, if you are a fire Venus sign, this reading is also for you. Don't fool yourself. Okay? And also, this connection is powerful. Three is an ascended master number. So you and this person are very high up in the spiritual tier. Okay? 16. Love is all around you. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you will see that I pulled this exact same card today for the twin soul collective energy read on my instagram page on my stories every day i do try to do it every day so i've been really busy scheduling readings for you know the people that have donated for my friends um cause so um anyways i try to i try to do um readings on my story um, every day on Instagram and for the twin souls the energy read that we got today was this card it says love is all around you there's love everywhere all the time you have to simply acknowledge this as truth so do you believe that you are worthy of love do you believe that love is all around you not just romantic love love everywhere from you those of you that have donated to Chrissy's cause for those of you that show love every day by just being present with all of us, for those of you that um, reach out and shine your light, no matter what it is you do, for those of you that just walk out, you know, um, and in the grocery store and smile at someone and say, hello, how's your day? That is love. All of that's love. The love from your children, from your parents, from your friends, from your community. Walking out and experiencing love every single day should be your goal. Once you can connect into that connection and wholeness of experiencing love outside of yourself, all the time, at all, every single moment of every single day, then you're going to experience the love of a romantic partner. Love is everywhere. You just have to be open again, open again, open. I'm going to say it again, open to receive that love. No more cocooning, no more in the nest, no more closing off. Open, 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 open. Say it with me. I am open. I am love. My beautiful fire signs. <laughs> okay.
And now I'm done yelling at you. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do your heal yourself card and then the message from your person and we done. I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> All right. See, even those of us that you think love themselves so greatly, I look at myself and I sometimes notice little things that I'm not crazy about myself like this, like my double chin. <laughs> you know, just because people pretend on the outside sometimes to be super duper confident. Loving yourself is a process. Some days you're gonna be like, damn, I'm really looking good shit. You can feel like feeling yourself, right? And the other days you're gonna be like, eh. and that's okay. It's all part of the journey. Nobody loves themselves like, you know, 200 and 365, whatever. But the goal is to try to remember every day to love yourself. Does that make sense? Okay, it's a process. What is the last thing that our beautiful fire signs need to know? Give us the last card. Heal yourself. What do we got for our beautiful fire signs? I'm going to try to keep this reading under 30 minutes. So let's rock and roll, Spirit. What do we got? What do we got? Come on. Spill it. Spill the beans. Selling out. All right. We have selling out one. Sometimes fire signs when you desire something so much, then you're willing to go to any length to get what you want. Now, remember my beautiful fire signs. Try to remain true to your soul. There is nothing worth selling out morally or emotionally to get what you want. You don't have to compromise, you know, to, to get love, you don't have to be different than what you are. You know, you don't have to act a certain way. You don't have to put on a mask to be loved. You are worthy of love right now as you are, whether you're jobless, whether you're homeless. It doesn't matter. You are worthy right now. If you can just remember to love yourself, then you are lovable. Okay, trust me. God loves you no matter what. No matter what, what state of your journey you're in, okay? So, there's no need to compromise. There's no need to, you know, s sell out in any way. There's no need to give something in order to get something. You are worthy right now without having to compromise, give anything, or be any different than what you are right now. That's your message. Okay. And it was just 27, 26 on my phone. If you would like to purchase this next deck, which is my Lemurian Love deck that I created with the beautiful and powerful Kimber Kiss Cosmic Queen, um, she did the digital art and I did the messages, then by all means, it is always available for purchase on my Etsy shop, which is in the description box linked below my videos. All right. What is the final message that this person wants um, our beautiful fire signs to know what do they want their fire signs to know even though they hold it all inside tell me the things that this person could not tell their fire sign we get one from the bottom and one from the top we have first card oh water signs got this too your light leaves me in awe so my beautiful fire signs every time you shine your light your person goes jaw to the floor they can't believe it you shine so brightly you're like the sun you are the sun to them you are the sun so keep shining your lights no matter what that looks like for you you're a, you are a lighthouse shining a beacon right to your person's heart continue to shine your light and you're not just your person needs it the world needs it they need that beacon of love okay keep stunning on them okay <laughs> We have also the last card is you doubt our soul connection. So one of you is doubting the soul connection, whether it's the divine masculine or divine feminine. I don't know. But this they're asking you, do you doubt our soul connection? Please don't doubt it because it's real. All right. I hope you enjoyed this reading, my beautiful fire signs. I love you so much. If you want to donate, that link is also in the description box below my video. Mwah.